I've actually been traveling for the last 12 years and the last two weeks that I just spent here in South Africa, I can honestly say that this has been probably one of the biggest highlights that I have of my entire time uh, of traveling. But uh, this is really just such a spectacular experience. <laughs> what I would recommend if you come to South Africa is you definitely have to see Cape Town. That uh, city really surprised me. It was very European feeling, very diverse. There's so much to do and see there. And I really loved wine country. Being a foodie, I loved wine country. I could spend a whole week uh, down there. And then, of course, safari. You can't go to South Africa without experiencing safari. And you'll really be surprised at how close you get to the animals. We had lions right up next to our Jeep. Just today, there was lions right in front of me. And I'm not talking 10 feet away. I'm talking two feet away from me. The variety, the diversity of the people, the languages, the food, the landscape, it got to a point where it was, it was sensory overload in the best possible way. The country has surprised me greatly. It's very diverse, people are friendly, and there's a lot of stuff to do, especially if you're into adventure, uh, like I am. If you want to kayak with crocodiles, fly over the coastline in a microlight, or partake in a big local soccer game with a bunch of rowdy fans, uh, the country has everything you could think of. And, uh, I've had an absolutely amazing time here. Everything about this country is just so beautiful. I've been overwhelmed by beauty here. From the winelands in Cape Town to the cosmopolitan city of Durban to the stunning majestic vistas on the garden route to the safari and especially the South African people who have been so loving and so friendly to us. Um, I have officially fallen in love with South Africa and I just can't wait till I come back again.